Set up in the ampular isthmic junction, and once the levels of progesterone get high enough, which is about uh, day three to four in the cow, the eggs then can move down through the isthmus, through the uterotuba junction, and actually down into the uterine horn. The embryo will then develop in the uterine horn and form its placentation for approximately 270 to 280 days of gestation. If we open up the uterine horn, we can see the three layers of the uterus itself. The endometrium with supplies, the nutrients to the embryo, as well as special bump-like structures which are called caruncles which are present in ruminant species. Also behind the uh, endometrium is a muscle layer called the myometrium. And of course this is utilized during parturition to help push the fetus out. The outside area is the peritoneum, which is just a smooth lining which protects the tract from adhesions. As we move down from the body of the uterine, uh, uterus in the uh, cow, we can now see the cervical rings which are present in the cervix. These are the rings which one must bypass in order to AI the animal in the uterine body. So within this animal we can see one, two, three, and four uh, cervical rings. The cervix itself protrudes back, so the opening would be the os cervix, but we also have a blind pocket which is called the fornix vagina. This is the area that one has trouble when AI because it actually blocks you from entering into the opening of the uh, cervix. So the fornix then opens up into the vagina and we can see the vagina here from the end of the cervix clear to the lining here which is where the urethra comes from the bladder. So the bladder empties into this area and within this area is the urethra opening and one can push something within the uh, urethra but again, the problem here is we have a pocket, which is called the suburethral diverticulum, which protects material from entering down into the urethra and causing blockage. From the end of the vagina, we have a muscle here, which is called the vulval vagina sphincter muscle. This muscle contracts to prevent urine from backflowing into the reproductive tract and actually moving forward. The area from the vagina to the outside area of the uh, reproductive tract is called the vestibule. And within the vestibule, there are some openings of glands, which are called the glands of Bartholfem, which may secrete pheromones for attraction of the male, as well as some lubrication. On the end of the uh, vestibule, we can see a uh, penile-like structure, which is called the clitoris. This is the remnant of the male penis uh, through sexual development of the embryo. The outside area is then the vulva, which is fatty tissue, which again responds to hormones and can show changes during estrus.